Hello everyone and welcome. This is Colin coming to you from my life, my travels, my adventure. On this video, I'm taking a look back from last year and doing a visit with my lovely wife to the Philippines right before lockdown. In this video will show, uh, I had to return to my job in Afghanistan and she unfortunately got stuck in the lockdown when it started in the Philippines. But I have to say, she made good use of her time. She was there for about five months. So during that time, we were working on getting our house built. And um, this is how the house looked back in February, March. This is what the house looks like today. So a tremendous amount of work was done. And I owe a lot to her, what she did, the things she took care of. Like in this clip here, she started cleaning up around the house because this, the house is basically a construction site. There are a couple rooms were done at this time. I think we just finished up with the uh, dirty kitchen we built outside. We built a second kitchen, it's very big and very nice. And her and her sister and Mylene, one of, one of our relatives, is helping her do a little pruning of the trees and just making overall things look good. And I have to give it to this woman, she's very hardworking. She did a tremendous amount of work. Getting everything ready prior to the engineer showing up and um, building this giant living room, as you'll see later on. In here, this is her cousin helping her in Sonair, who's very, very helpful. And a great guy. Anytime he hears I'm in the Philippines, he will do whatever he can to make his way over and stays with us. We have a good time. Very good time together. I really appreciate him and everything that he does. And he doesn't ask anything for it. He's just happy to help me out. And we sit around and talk and have a few beers and laughs and stuff. And he just stays with us. He is truly part of the family. I miss him a lot. I can't wait to see him when I get back there to check out the house. Now here in this clip, my lovely bride there, she's, uh, we have some of the rooms were already done previously. And this is the living room where the stairs and all would be and it's a very big room, very high ceiling. And, you know, we were using the room, or everybody was, to store things in. And she's cleaning out a lot of stuff, trying to level out some of the ground, some of the, yeah, trying to level the surface out, clean up a lot of dog shit. Because, you know, in the Philippines, there are lots of dogs around. You know, and they were using inside of there as a, as a toilet, so... We're moving a lot. She's moving a lot of stuff. I wasn't there. I wish I was there to help her out. And you'll see in the upcoming clips, there was even a tractor parked in there. construction area because tomorrow the workers or the construction company will be here and uh, yeah it has to happen I still have a lot of 
stuff to uh, take out of this place, you know. Nissan is helping me out. Oh, the tractor is out. Mm-hmm. And Baho here, dear Baho. A lot of tae, dog tae. So, that's how it looks right now. That is our ceiling. See? It's very high. Very high. So, this is how it looks here right now. And here, you know, this, uh, this uh, wall here, which will be the step. This is where we will put the, I don't know how it, uh, how it is called, but the foundation of the stairwell will be here, like that. So, tractor is... Back in the living room. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go again. Yeah. Still okay. doing something before the uh, construction workers get here, dear. Yeah. And you know, if you are here, you would surely help your, your wife doing this. You know, and maybe if you are helping me a little bit now. Because in town, went to the little store for a cigarette break. Okay, dear? Okay. I told, I told you, Uncle, I want to talk to you, Uncle. Auntie Penny is the tart. It's my name, it's the Brienda, it's the Eat the Money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's it's hard. Hard. My name is the, you go inside in the dirty kitchen, so they get the money. <laughs> money is peanut. We, we are boiling peanuts that Imsan brought um, as a gift. So, he's cooking it in the dirty kitchen. Um, after maybe um, half an hour from now, the peanuts are already boiled and we will have a peanut break. Okay? A little peanut break there. You know? Because... It's very good to eat, you know, the Philippine uh, fresh boiled peanut. It's very good. I'll show it to you later. And a little thing to do now is this space or this spot. Um, come on, my little. Keep going. Look. Okay. So, thank you, Mai.
doesn't work. Uh, tomorrow is Mama Conchi. Um, so Friday, Mama Auntie is Mama Auntie, and Saturday and Sunday is the Ayor. Yeah? <laughs> it's okay? Uh, uh, Uncle, um, uh, I calling you. Yeah? Uncle, drink the water. So try. Mine is the dead. Yeah? Wow. I'm going to Hi, everyone. And hi, my darling. I am going to show you uh, how it looks here. Here, look, I am going to clean a little bit more so that when the engineer and the uh, construction workers get here, it looks a little better and they can, they can move here uh, better. So, the, the tractor here, you know, I, I will have to see that it looks even. See? Can move here. Okay. I have to move a little better. Also, so that is how you do it. So. Let's take a little break. Okay? <laughs> so somebody gives me something for a little break. And uh, this is, what is this? Orange drink. So. A little refreshment for my knees, my leg. So I'm gonna drink it now. Game. Hello there. It's me again. I'm just reporting to my man. I am here in the Philippines and my man flew already. And I wish he was here to eat more fish just like this i have three kinds of fish here and like this this is again the farm lady <laughs> this one here and um, i clean this like this i clean it like this like like the thing that i showed the first time my man was here and he ate all these farm ladies Dalagang bukit in Tagalog or in the Filipino. So now I took all the guts and then I will clean it like this. And uh, before I put the salt, I will have to cut it. Uh, is my orange height like this? Cut a little bit like this. And later on, I will put the salt, or pepper, and so on here, in in the stomach or belly. It will it will be tasting a lot better. So the other fish is galunggong. Galunggong. Gigi. Sure. This is galunggong for Filipinos. No tawag dito sa English. Galunggong. Galunggong. Gigi. Okay. This is galunggong. I will put them nicely here so that <laughs> you can all see. I will also uh, clean it like this. All the guts out. This is the guts. Eee, another monster. So 
I'll put the all the bituka here, the guts there. <laughs> And the rats will eat those. No, <laughs> no, ra no rats. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you honestly. I haven't uh, combed my hair yet because before I was able to do that, my sister brought the fish here, and I had to clean them all before they get back. So this is the galunggong for Gigi. Clean. I will do the same method, just like the the farm lady here. Go, I did the lab the lab of, huh? And again, mm. I will cut it like this, or later to put the spices there. I can uh, make, I can fry it, or I can um, uh, cook it, steam it with. Uh, Ginger with the green mango or tamarind to make the, the juice uh, sour. That is my man's favorite dish when it comes to fish. So, the other type of fish is this is kind of mackerel or so. We call it uh, tamban. tamban. Yeah, so I will clean it just like the others. Take the albere, like this, albere. You hasang. This is the hasang. I don't know how you call the hasang in English. This is where I mean the head or so. But you know, um, this is not for Filipinos. What I will go, uh, I am going to say, we eat the head, the ulo in Tagalog. We eat the ulo. Uh, Colin eats also the ulo if it's crunchy. And um, yeah, this whole fish here, we would fry the whole piece, a little crunchy, and uh, we will eat also e everything. No, the, the bones, anything. And we love, we love it if it's fried, because it's a lot of bones in here. So maybe I will cut it the same way, like this, even though they are very little. So that's. The story about the fish that I'm going to clean today and cook. Okay, let me take a short break. Okay. Hey again, tapos na akong maglinis ng isda, which means uh, I am finished cleaning the fish. And the fish really look like um, too much, but we are not going to eat them all uh, today. Here in our town, even though we don't have a lockdown, my, uh, my place is not, it doesn't belong to the lockdown series here, but people are having a very serious panic, uh, panic buying. So my sister bought a lot because she was so scared to get hungry during the next uh, few days. So here is the fish that is finished for cooking here. These are the fish that we will eat today. We will cook it or them, uh, like I said before, in, uh, with mango, green mango. I will uh, peel them and cut into uh, very small pieces with, together with this pepperoni and this ginger. So we will cook them. And this, the other fish, the and what I tell, uh, farm, lady, farm, lady. farm ladies, or or the lagang bukid and the mackerel, we will put them in the freezer uh, for the next few days because of the coronavirus lockdown. This is what we will eat like maybe three or four days. So it's a, uh, we have another fish here. <laughs> I almost speak in German. I'm sorry. So, here is another type of, uh, it, well, it's not another type of fish. This is the small version of this one. This is fresh, and this is, these, smoked. Are, these are smoked. These galunggong are smoked. And we can eat it just like this, or fry a little bit, or cook them uh, together with, with um, vegetables. 
some, there are some vegetables there from my god children. Uh, they, they harvested them from the farm, from their tumana, and they were here the other day uh, and brought this. With, these are the red onions. They are really fresh. I just cut the, the green leaves. And uh, we eat it just a little, a little fry and then uh, we, we, we fry a little bit and then we eat with rice. And then uh, the other vegetables, the calabasa or squash. This, kamatis, calabasa, sibuyas, sili. So, and later on I will show how to cook the galunggo. Filipinos know that. Okay, bye-bye for now. Okay. Hello again. I am still in the kitchen trying to get ready or do everything before I take my shower. And since I'm not finished cooking, I uh, just want to show this. This is the galunggong being cooked. Let us see how it goes. So, oh, it's very hot. The galunggong fish is now cooking in uh, little slices of green mango. This is very sour. It gives a very good taste in this fish and uh, the juice. Mmm. I feel very hungry now. It will take a little to get it done. I will just steam it like 20 minutes. Okay, and I think I have to go get some drink. Bye bye, dear.